today's range review. It didn't go well. Uh, start off the Mauser HSC 380 double stack. I'd fire a round or two, and the magazine would pop out. Um, I switched over to the 32 barrel. That worked fine, except again, the magazine would pop out. So, I don't know what's going on with there. Something about the recoil bumps it. I tried to see if maybe it was how I was holding the gun. Maybe I was bumping the mag release. I didn't see it. Could have happened, but regardless, it's a concern. Needless to say, it's rather disappointing. Uh, it feels good. Shot accurate. Well, no, it didn't shoot accurate, but that wasn't the gun's fault. That was my fault. Um, in fact, I did really horrible. It's been so long since I've been to a gun range that I have forgotten everything. I was like all over the place, flinching and just, it was embarrassing, but it was still fun. It was just, wow, <laughs> humbling. Because you just assume that you're going to be a good shot like you were 20 years ago. It's like, no. So that was a disappointment. At least they confirmed that it can be converted to a 32 with a simple barrel swap. And the magazine can handle both 380s and 32s. So that is, that is nice. Um, the second thing is uh, the CZ 83 and 32. I'll only put 100 rounds through it and had one failure. It shot extremely accurate. It shot really low, but the grouping was super tight. And somebody, like I said, I can't shoot worth a damn these days. That was very impressive. I just tore a nice little hole right through my tag uh, target at uh, seven yards. So um, that, was, that was nice. I was impressed. I, I gotta say, I'm very impressed with the CZ 83 and 32. I think I'm going to have to pick one up in Makarov. Um, I just, I like it. I'm sold. This, these are great guns. Um, second second to uh, Breda 32s, but uh, a very close, close, close second. So, very cool guns. Now for the big disappointment. The rechambered Beretta Model 81, originally 32 ACP, but now rechambered in 32 NAA. Thank God I saved the original barrel. Um, it had tremendous amounts of problems with failure to feeds and failures to eject and failure, 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 failure. And I am pretty sure it's, well, I'm pretty sure it's because one, it's the original recoil spring and two, 32 NAA is a tough little round. I just assumed that since the recoil springs were the same as the 380, that it would be fine. But that's not the case. So I ordered some new springs, a uh, 15 pound and a 16 pound. Um, and I'm gonna try those out. Because let's see if this will pick up on the camera because I'll show you it was really kind of scary. I don't know if this is gonna show or not. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Maybe we can get a little refraction on there. Yeah, there we go. Now you can see it. The cases, all of them were bulged out like that. Um, when I calmed down, took my time, and fired at the target, it was extremely accurate. But I have a hard time with sights because I'm, as you can tell, I'm very far-sighted. And, uh, uh, it's it's a hard time for me acquiring the the, the front post on on, on pistols. Uh, that's just part of getting old. But anyways, uh, I'm not giving up on the uh, 32 NAA. I just uh, I just need to be I just need to be a lot more careful because I, I don't want to I don't want to damage this gun. This is a really nice gun, and yeah, I know there's plenty of them out there at the moment. Uh, it, it it would just be a real crime to. Uh, to damage this thing um, so uh, I won't be shooting it again until I get some new springs in there but it was accurate when it worked and I actually took the time to bother to not flinch not jerk the trigger all over grip it properly um, but 
did nothing for the uh, failures to feed, the failures to eject, the stove pipes, uh, just everything. I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's going to be a recoil spring issue, and hopefully it'll fix the problem, but we'll see. Anyways, that's it. That's the range update.